you ever been in your house and seen something that just terrifies you? You know, maybe like a dark area in your closet. So I'm vacuuming my floors. Hmm, that's odd. Why is there a leaf in my bedroom? Oh, somebody dropped a hair tie. I bend down to grab the hair tie. Oh my god. That ain't no hair tie. Yeah, that was a spider. And a damn big one. Luckily, this one already died. But I wanted to make something useful out of it. So first, I had to catch it. Or just put it in this bag. I think most people would just freak out and call their husband. That's what my wife would do. Or just vacuum it up. Maybe pick it up and throw it away. But this cool ass spider just deserves so much more than that. I wanted to find a way to preserve this spider indefinitely. And honestly, I really only know one way to do that. That's to make a paperweight. Sure, it would probably last forever in some kind of cryogenic freezer, but what use is that? I can't show that to somebody and be like, hey, look at this spider. I gotta unfreeze it. I made a couple paperweights in the past, and I'll be honest, they didn't turn out that great. I made some minor mistakes, but still preserved the insects intact for eternity. I would never take a living insect from the wild just to do this. That's really cruel to do, actually. And those insects play a hugely important role in our ecosystems. All right, as some of you already know, well, all of you know because you watched the beginning of this video, we found this, the most terrifying arachnid in the world. I'm not scared of just about any spider except for this one. This is the Huntsman spider. And it is like the longest leg spider here in Florida. Uh, very similar in size to what we call the banana spider, which is also known as the golden silk orb weaver. However, this one has a totally different lifestyle. It's an ambush predator. It's a wall walker, also known as a crab spider. And these guys are super fast. They lurk in the dark, cold places, and they don't bite people, so that's good. But they're terrifying because you're not even going to be fast enough to catch them. This one I found dead in my house. And because it was dead, I wasn't terrified as I normally am. And uh, I didn't want it to just die for no reason. So I've got this, this is a mold. And I've got this acrylic. This is resin and the hardener solution. A red solo cup, something to mix the solutions together. And then a pair of tweezers to manipulate the insect into the mold so it looks good when I set it in the mold. We'll then lay a clear coat of gloss over it. And we'll use our heat gun, excuse you, use our heat gun to heat up the gloss so it doesn't have any bubbles in it. We're gonna turn a formidable insect into a pretty cool paperweight. Let's go ahead and get started. I hope I didn't lose you, and for the sake of saving your time, we'll run this video in 8x speed. Now I took the spider legs and I kind of separated them to help him set into the mold a lot better. We gotta mix up our solution. It's 50% hardener and 50% of the clear stuff. I guess it's the resin. You mix it thoroughly, but don't mix it too rapidly because you get air bubbles inside of it. Air bubbles are a pain in the butt and they don't look good inside of paperweights. It really just takes patience. Mix thoroughly, but don't take too long because the stuff does naturally harden. We're gonna take the heat gun to it to help bring some of those bubbles to the surface. It makes this liquid a lot thinner and it moves around a lot better when it's heated. We take it and we carry it an even layer across the bottom of our mold. We then take our really cool ass spider and we set him into our mold. Of course his legs aren't where we want them so we gotta position the legs how we actually want them to appear when the finished product is done. Now that resin is pretty liquidy and the spider will move especially like Spiders close their legs when they die because there's pressure built up inside of them. That looks pretty good and natural, wouldn't you say? Now we gotta encase him in the resin. We're pouring the resin across him to just create a solid block of clear enamel over the entire spider. Once I pour the resin, there's still gonna be some of those bubbles inside of the resin. So we gotta heat it up and get those bubbles to rise to the surface. The spider's moved a little because of me pouring the resin, so I repositioned his legs. I bought this resin set at Lowe's. It's probably around $30, but price could have gone up. I've had this for a few years and it still seemed to be just fine. I filled the entire mold up with the resin, but the cardboard I used to protect my wooden table 
wasn't level so I had to get it to a level surface I put a few sheets of paper like six of them underneath the mold so that way if any resin was on the outside of the mold it would get on the paper and not my badass table it's been eight hours and now for the grand unveiling I want you all to see this before I even get to see it here it is look at that badass spider paperweight it's been about eight hours and the resin seems to be hard this is what it looks like, the finished product. The finished project. Now this is a silicone mold, and it looks hard, but actually, it's not 100% hard yet. So that's just a, what it looks like right now. I'll show you another video when it actually. Bummer, the mold was still soft. It was hard, but it was flimsy. All right, it ended up taking a whole nother day. Well, I gave it a whole nother day, but I will say this thing turned out absolutely amazing. The mixture was perfect. This is solid like glass. I'm so impressed by this. And this is gonna be the first time I've actually seen what the front side of the Huntsman Spider paperweight looks like. So I'm gonna peel off the silicone mold. That's how far I peeled it when I realized it was still flimsy. So let's peel that off and we'll get a good look at the front side. It's not tacky. Oh, it's hard. It came out so good. Look at this. All right, y'all saw it first. I haven't even had a chance to look at it. But just look at the details. Um, I really can't complain about this paperweight. It just turned out magnificent. And uh, yeah, there's a few flaws and blemishes, but uh, you know, I'm not doing it professionally, and I'm not trying to sell it or anything. I'm just keeping it for more of a memory. Um, to preserve something like this. Now this is just a different spider. It is a ambush predator. And um, I don't know if it helped you out. I hope it did. Um, you know, please like and subscribe to this video. And we'll see you next time in the great outdoors. Peace. Seriously though, it took me like two days to make this video. Just the process of making a paperweight takes a couple days alone. And I gotta edit the video, I had to eat the upfront cost of buying the mold, and I had to go through the terrifying experience of finding this crazy spider in my house and sharing it with y'all. If you enjoyed it, I would enjoy you please giving me a like button. <laughs> it means a lot. And uh, maybe I'll tell you about my other crazy ass spider experience.